We've got to get this shed done day 24. we got to get this floor done. Yeah. We're so close, guys. Right now, what I'm going to do is we're sitting on a piece of cardboard because the floor is not completely dry. We just put it in yesterday. Yep. But I'm going to go through, and we have a few trowel marks here and there, so I'm going to mist it mm -hmm. and trowel them out yeah. and get it as smooth as I can. Also, we had a small um, water mishap yesterday with the air conditioner. Minor mini split fail. We thought we'd be clever and use the condensation tube to catch water in that bucket down there because it was like this whole pad was getting soaked because it's pulling so much moisture out of the air. Well, it turns out that the condensation tube rose to the top of the water level and then we just dumped a bunch of water inside right when we were working on it so it actually messed up the floor we were just working on guys we've never really had a mini split before and never had to worry about condensation so now we know don't put it in a bucket make sure you ride it all the way to the ground so that it doesn't back up we thought we fixed it but then i guess overnight there were a few drips left in that came out and so we've got a couple of little spots over on the floor underneath the air conditioner that we need to fix. Yeah. And I guess we gotta see what's happening around those stones. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Or, or are we just gonna let those dry and sweep them off and then try to clean them? I don't know yet. We're running low on time because we have to go to a meeting tonight. True, yeah. So we'll see what we get to. So it'll be a quick day. Uh, while you work on that, I'm gonna work on putting some chicken wire on the outside of the front door frame. We actually already cobbed some of it, but we've decided that it's too easy to pull it off. So we're gonna scrape that off real quick and then put some chicken wire and staple it on so that when we come back and do that final coat, we can attach it to the wood better. Yeah. Yeah. Busy day. Not really. Well, we've been busy all day. True. It's not with yeah. yeah. We've got us, we have other things we have to do. There's so many other things. Hey, I got the rest of my desk today. Good job. Yeah. And we got our sheets washed. Uh huh. We got a rug. And I put that desk in the garage. So sad. <laughs> let's get let's get this floor done. Okay. So while Ashley is inside working on the floor, I've got to work on this front door. If you'll remember back to like our big window and the windows up top, we realized that in order to get the clay to stay on there, it's better to put some chicken wire on there. Otherwise that smooth wood, you can just, you can pull it off. So that's obviously not what we want. We, uh, we had some people over helping and we honestly, we didn't even think about it when we were doing this. So I've got to scrape it off down both sides and then we're going to take this roll of chicken wire, we're going to staple it up there so that when we come back and we're ready to do that final coat on the front here, then it should all stay a lot better. These are the two little spots that our air conditioner leaked when we had that drip hose that filled with water and then it just came in through the air conditioner. So I was going to show you how easy it is to patch a floor that's not completely dry. I assume that it would be the same whether it's dry or not because it's the same material you just wet it down. As long as it's not sealed. As long as it's not sealed, right. So here we go.
Some of that was on there a little more than we thought, but that's okay. We got it off, and so now we're just gonna take some chicken wire, we're gonna staple it up around that wood so that it makes it easier. It gives the cob something to, to stick to, basically, as we put it back on. Day 24, we're done. Very easy day today. Sometimes we don't have eight hours to work on the solar ship. Sometimes we only have a few hours. So we, you can see we put the, uh, the chicken wire on each side of the door. We didn't put it on the top because we had to fill in some space up there with cob before we put that on. Right, so that'll go up tomorrow. Hopefully, I would really like to be working on cob tomorrow. Okay, yeah. While the floor's drying, let that it's floor dry, exciting. and then we can seal it. Yeah. I cannot wait for that floor to be dry. I know. So anyway, uh, oh, since you've stuck around, we wanted to let you know that tomorrow, in addition to the video, our daily video that we're putting out, we're going to be doing a YouTube Live. It's going to be a little bit different than what our YouTube Lives normally are, because if you remember a few days back, we talked about the 30 Days to a Better YouTube six-week program we're gonna help people learn how to sort of do what we're doing making a video every day now that being said the live is gonna be to tell you a little bit about how we plan and schedule each day right that's a been a huge question that we get is how do you manage your day to create a video every day and mm -hmm. upload it and edit it and all the things that go with it so if you have if you've been curious about that we're gonna talk just a little bit about it and we're gonna open it up and answer all of your questions about YouTube. So if you want to nerd out about YouTube stuff, show up tomorrow, four o'clock? Sure. Four o'clock, Pacific Standard Time, YouTube Live. We'll see you then.